So, a while ago, I had said some stuff about how there should be some tutorial videos regarding Stringier. I was primarily talking about the Patterns Engine, because it's foolish me. Um, well, it's not just me, but I, I'm the one who did it. There's a thing where, when you start to understand things really well, you start to look at simpler stuff, and it's like, oh, that's so trivial and so obvious that, of course, and I don't need to explain that. dumb. <laughs> I'm pretty good about documenting my code, explaining why it does things the way it does, and all that. That tends to not be an issue, but the thing that was dumb that I did, I dismissed away the point of doing little sort of micro-tutorials on the various functions that were in Stringier Core, and um, sort of a micro-tutorial on Glyph and the other stuff that goes along with it. And, um, big, big shout out to uh, Florin Pop. I don't know if you watch his stuff on YouTube. Probably not, because most of the people that are interested in the stuff I do, it's very different stuff. Um, but if you follow me on Twitter at all, you probably see some interactions between me and him. Um, at least the public ones. There are private ones as well, but the, those they're, they're private. Of course, you're not seeing them. I ramble about some of the fucking most pointless shit. <laughs> so, the thing about that, uh, he he did a micro-tutorial series on JavaScript array functions, and it got a lot more attention than I would have figured. And it's because, like I said, it's when you understand things well, it's super easy to forget what you were struggling with in the first place. Now, I tend to do well with very exhaustive documentation. And I was that fucking weirdo at like 14 years old reading medical books. Cause I'm not normal, but typically speaking, people do a lot better with sort of see it done and then you go do it yourself. So I would like to to do something like that. As trivial as the examples seem, even if they're just going to be, you know, three minute long videos, I would like to do that because it's clear that there's a, a demand for it, that it can explain things in a much more visual way that suits, I mean, even myself, but just because I can learn adequately a certain way, I, I you can't assume that everybody else does. Now, one thing I am going to do regarding that, um, I'll put up articles for it and videos. And the articles, I think I'm going to start putting them up on DevTo. Um, the reason for that is much higher degree of visibility. And I'll leave my fancier stuff for my personal portfolio thing. Um, the micro tutorial stuff would be good to to put up in both formats. Because not everybody likes uh, video learning either. Some people strongly prefer to read through a blog. Um, so what he did, and I'll largely keep the same format, is just every single video covers one specific thing. One, I mean, I'm going to be doing more than just uh, array functions. So it's going to be... Uh, you know, one, uh, I'll go through after each individual library hits at least a 4.0 release, I'll go through each of the components in it. Sometimes there's not a whole lot to talk about there. Sometimes there is, um, but I'll, I'll work on putting out one of those videos, uh, try every single day. That'd be actually absolutely fantastic as far as the YouTube algorithm goes, because it likes to see repetitive content like that. And as you know, I'm trying to keep much better about that now. Um, generally speaking, I tend to do discussion style videos, so this this format tends to work well, but I'll have to do the screen recording and everything. I don't know if I'm going to record myself again. Um, my computer's acting up a little bit. Nothing, nothing too bad, but it's four or five years old now, so it's getting time to get a 
replace a lot of the parts in it. There's a little bit of firmware issue with it too. I'm not entirely sure how that happened, but firmware patching is a fucking nightmare and the firmware is broken in a way that doesn't allow me to patch with a new updated firmware, um, which is just absolutely fucked. Uh, so I'd have to get an EEPROM flasher and flash it, but at, at this point it's just replaced the fucking motherboard. And then the other parts to go along with that, because holy shit, has stuff been updated now. Then I'll be back in business as far as that goes. Which would be nice. But, uh... Yeah. Expect those. Expect a lot of coverage on what everything is, what it's meant for, why you'd want to use it versus alternatives. It seems so short compared to the other stuff I've done recently, but uh, yeah, have a good one, guys.